What is going on everybody? Welcome into the Hoop State Championship Selection Show powered by Phenom Hoops. We're here, we're live. what the season has culminated up to this point and what I feel like, and I think you guys share this with me, the most wide open Hoop State Championship we've had to date. I mean, I think honestly anything can happen at this point. You know, last year we looked at the Hoop State Championship and, and you know, it felt like combine was kind of cut ahead of everybody just because, you know, you had the, the closer and Robert Dillingham. So he just kind of made him a step above everybody. But this year, I just felt there was a lot of parity. There's a lot of things that can go either way. A lot of these teams have matched up previously this year, and I mean the games have gone in, bo in both directions. So Simmons, right. like, wh like, what about this season has made it so exciting up to this point? Uh, the fact that multiple teams have been the number one team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like once Combine went down in Moravian that first time, it's kind of been a carousel um, with, with the top four teams. And I think the biggest thing of it is, is we all know every kid really, really wants to win this like it's almost like winning this championship puts us puts you in you know a uh, place in history see the trophy right here yeah, yeah. let's break it down all right with all that being said let's take a look at the seed coming in at number eight north carolina good better best first year program it's the first year they're going to be in this hoop state championship obviously pat cole has a lot of talent on his team and this is the deepest field ever so even making the cut in this event should be an accomplishment in itself with the rise of the prep schools and stuff like that. There's just so many more different options. There are teams that have played in this event in previous years that will not make the cut. And that's unfortunately just the way it is, but that's why the Hoop State Championship is what it is. So they're coming in at eight and uh, they've had kind of an up and down season. It's their first year. I think their signature win was beating Brewster in the John Wall Holiday Invitational, even though this isn't a typical Brewster team from a win-loss standpoint. It's still a huge win. That's kind of their signature thing that definitely helped get them into the field. Good Better Best is one of those teams that we've talked about all year that's been like really tough, really scrappy. They embody what Pat Cole is. That's a, he was a tough-minded, scrappy guard when he played in North Carolina Central under Lavelle Moten. But move, talking about this team, I mean, you, you have a, you have a guy that can face the floor, Trey Boy, who shoots in front of the volleyball line extended. Uh, Caden Bell has done a really good job this year of, of getting them to their sets, running their offense. Ja'Kel Powell's kind of taking a step as well. And you got uh, Big TT Musaka as well, too, kind of being that rim protector. So, uh, Lurion Walker as well, uh, Broderick Ellis, Asa White. Oh, so this, I mean, this team has a lot of names that we know around North Carolina. I mean, don't be surprised if you know they, they give you know the number one seed a hard time to open the round. Making the second appearance in the Hoop State Championship, Lake Norman Christian. They do not have the guys they had last year from the profile standpoint, but Pat McCarthy and that group feel as together and bonded as any team in this field just from the standpoint they know what they're out there to do they know their identity and they've already beaten some other really good teams in this field Simmons I'll give you the go first like what do you think they're capable of as the seven seed I think you have to put them at seven because the victory if you look at it now the victory with Liberty Heights holds weight now. significant weight you know what yeah. I'm saying like that that holds weight it was a very good win when it happened and now it's looked at as a great win right one thing you look at when you're late Norman Christian you look at a team that's going to compete for the entire game which start to finish um, this year but they've had they've had a couple big wins uh, like I said they beat Liberty Heights National they had wins over Cannon Northside and United Faith as well too so um, like you said Josh Bullock leads the way 13.3 points a game and you got a guy like Shane Fernald who's like a Swiss Army knife he's headed to Hamden Sydney um, he's a guy that's averaging uh, nine points uh, six rebounds five assists JP Haggerty averaging 11 points Ty Barbie's going to Mount Olive he averages 11 points so this is a very balanced basketball team and we've seen, I mean, they can, they can, knock, they can knock the Giants off, so they're going to be a tough out. Coming in at the number six seed, Winston-Salem Christian. It's been kind of a weird year for them. They've had some guys leave, obviously, Therese moving on and stuff like that. But they still have Lewis Walker. They still have Kami and Shell. And they, they have Raphael Gay still. And that's a really formidable, formidable big three, Air France. He can fly above the Second road. Beer. He's going to put someone on a poster <laughs> this weekend. We, we, we've seen Lewis Walker grow and develop over this last year as one of the premier guys in his class of 2024 this year. Uh, Lewis has had monster games for uh, Western Island Christian this year. Um, you got guys like Cam Shell, who's just rock sitting at the point guard position. Just hard to rattle. He's going to get you into his sets. 
I mean, who could forget the, the performance he had against the overtime in the beginning of this year? That's one of the best performances we've seen all year. And I mean, honestly, the nice thing on the cake is you have Antonio Lowe. Like, Antonio Lowe won the inaugural Hoop State Championship back in 2020, so with Moravian Prep. So, if anybody knows how to win an event like this, it's Antonio Lowe. Moving at the five seed, this one might raise eyebrows because we've seen them be the best team in North Carolina this year. It's word of God. And I think a safe way to say it, and you know, they'll probably, even the coaching staff would agree at some point, they're a trick or treat team. When they're at their best, I think they're the best team in North Carolina. If you consider everybody at their best, I think they're the best, but they've also thrown out some clunkers and we've seen that. So what word of God are we getting this weekend? I know one of the questions we have is Jaquan Moore, will he play? Cause I know he's been out. They're trying to get him back. I know he thinks he can come back. Brandon Gardner's back now. But this team is a five seed. They are more than capable of winning the whole thing, and they're more than capable of losing in the first um, round. Frederick DeLeon, <laughs> with unlimited dribbles, is the most unguardable player in the state of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just what that is. Like, regardless of defense, 2-3 zone, 3-2, three, 1-3-1, one, one, man to man look up, Freddie got 28. Whether it's on 28 shots, whether it's on two shots, DeLeon with unlimited dribbles in the ball screen is a dumb cookie. <laughs> okay, then you got Truman, Rifleman, he's shooting that thing from the concession stand. You got Po Boy, he's shooting that thing from the Raptors. You know what I'm saying? Jaquan Moore, Makai kicking people in the face, Brandon Garner. It's a mix of, I have a really good ball handler that can shoot. I have shooters around him and I have toughness. And then the thing of it is, is all these guys have confidence. Mm -hmm. So the swagger they have kind of overcomes game planning sometimes. And all these guys are gamers. To me, like I've said all year, where the guy is that team where like, if you play pickup basketball, you always have your four or five where you like, yo, we can go anywhere, any gym, pick it up and get a dub. And that's how comfortable they are with De Leon stirring, uh, the straw that stirs the drink. I mean, at the end of the day, I really feel like four and five, you really kind of, they're, they're interchangeable. Either, either way, you're going to play the number one seed in the second round. So I just think it's some motivation for where the guy to come out here and just prove us wrong. They're playing Liberty Heights Varsity at the four seed. Who's earned this? And they've had kind of a weird schedule all year. Just the fact that, oh, we're not, like, we don't want to play them. We know why teams don't want to play them because you don't want to lose to a quote unquote B team. They're, they're capable of playing with anybody in the country. And we've seen that mm -hmm. all year. Simpkins twins, when they're together and leading the charge the way that they are. It is a nightmare to deal with. It's a game I want to see. I'm going to keep it a bench, chatter behind it. When you look at that team, like, outside of the Twins, like, it's not only them. You know, you got big Josiah down there doing his thing. You know, David, those guys, man, like, they just played the game really well. And I think Quiet is kept. He won't win the award, you know what I'm saying? But AJ and the job he's done with that team, like, really, he should be in the top three for coaching. Nah, he's, he's, you know on he's on my belt. He's on my top five. Because low-key, sure. like, that team almost beat Prolific. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. team is, like, just as many games as that, that team hasn't had opportunities they haven't got. I really feel like, you know, in certain situations, like, nationally, people haven't got outside the state because they don't really know who, you know what I'm saying, some of the matchups they play. But this team is, is battle-tested. And honestly, I think it's going to be a great like, the one thing I love about the Hoop State Championship is there's always a first-round game that's a must-see TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're like, we can do a preview. We can sell it. Like, this is the one. Like, yep. Freddie, the Twins, like, this is the perfect, like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, the game to see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm real, real, real excited. Yeah, and I think that. we I think we know that Liberty Heights is going to come in with a chip on their shoulder and motivated because people have been saying the B-team thing all year. And word of God, hopefully they look at the seed and they're like, look, this, they don't believe Three seed, the defending champs, Combine Academy. Now, they've had an interesting season. They probably had two of the better wins that any team in North Carolina had when they went and beat SoCal and they went and beat um, Hillcrest Prep in Tennessee. They've also lost to Moravian. They lost to Word of God. Um, so it's kind of at the point where they didn't even play a ton of games this year either. But they're a scary, scary team. And when Jaden Epps is hitting shots and making things happen offensively with the ball in his hands, it is a scary, scary sight. Well, I can go ahead and tell you firsthand that Combine wants to win the Hoop State Championship. Yes. That is their sole goal, their sole mission at the end of the season to keep this trophy right where it is. And for Combine, that's, that's the mission at this point. You know, being a three seed, I think that's a good spot for them. You know, obviously they, they were in that contention for one of the top seeds. Um, a couple of losses over the last couple of weeks probably you know, hurt their chances there as well. But I mean, like, like Simmons said, I mean, your one-two punch with Jaden Epps and um, Pat Wessler, I think that's the key. But the key, the true key for Combine is those, those those secondary guys. And I won't even call MJ a secondary guy because he's going to be tech, but, but this is the weekend that MJ Collins has to step up and become, you'll show everybody I'm, why I'm an ACC high major type talent. 
in these games, <clears throat> in these games, like he's gonna have to step up and be, be big, knock shots down. We know what AJ Smith's capable of. He did it last year in the Hoop State Championship. For everything that Combine's gone through this year with all the, the, the roster attrition and things like that, for them to be in this spot, still to be a consensus top 25 national team, I mean, you still got one of the best coaches in the country, and Jeff McGinnis. I really think they have a good chance to win this championship. I think I think they have a great chance to do it too. And mm -hmm. I think one of the other things that people, you know, because he hasn't, he hasn't in recent years, he hasn't really been the underdog. Jeff McGinnis made his money as a coach when he's looked at as the underdog. Mm -hmm. This is the lowest seed they've, I think, the lowest seed they've ever been in this event, mm -hmm. and uh, that's something that he's going to use to kind of put fuel to the fire. That is his team, and I fully expect them to come in guns blazing. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a scene in there for sure. Um, coming in at the number two seed, probably the spookiest team when it comes to just like a get up on you in a hurry, and it could be night night with eight minutes left to go in the first half. Moravian Prep, mm -hmm. with the way that they've shot the ball all year with Eli Ellis and Ham Campbell kind of orchestrating things, and just the machine that they've kind of built. They come in at the two seed. They've had an incredible year, a year to remember. Um, they lost in the championship at Big Shots Nationals in a, in a close, tightly contested game with Liberty Heights. They have a chance to get their second Hoop State Championship as a program. Jeremy's first as a head coach. I, I love Moravian in this spot because they're the hunter. I love when they're in that position because that's when they're truly dialed in. They're ready to compete. They're ready to roll. Uh, as we know, Eli Ellis may be probably one of the biggest competitors in the state of North Carolina, bar none. Mm -hmm. What he did in that second half in the Big Shots champion, National Championship game against Liberty Heights was unbelievable. Like, they were dead in the water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dead in the water. He literally willed them back into that game. Almost like he almost like he did a couple years ago in the Hoop State game. Almost like, same, same thing. And so, for right. that, I think the biggest thing for now is for, for Moravian is who's coming along with him. Like, we know what Hamilton's done all year. Hamilton's been rock city at the point. They need him to step up and continue to produce. Jackson Holt's got to make shots for uh, Moravian. Mm -hmm. That is the key for Moravian point blank period. If Jackson Holt is making shots, what happens is now those driving lanes are open for Hamilton and open for Eli to get to their spots. And that's the key for Moravian. So, I mean, if he can do that, I mean, we can see them cutting down the nets here. Number one, Liberty Heights National. They've had teams duck them this year. Just being point blank simple, um, they haven't held, we haven't held that against them. And what's been on their schedule, they've really, really handled in a major way. Um, one of their only losses, they they beat the team. They lost the Word of God at the Hargrave event, but they also beat them in Fayetteville. So that kind of neutrals out. Liberty Heights, if you look at it from the beginning, they had four league, fall league. They won both fall leagues. They was in um, both sessions of it. They went. They won beach ball. First team from North Carolina to ever win beach ball. Um, they won big shots. So they've won a champ. They've won every tournament technically they've been in all year. Um, they 100% want to win the hoop state, and I think this year we've seen two different versions of Liberty Heights. You've seen a version where you know Jabbar Perry and Ezra, you know, may not and may not be playing at a high level. You know what I'm saying? And and Ryan Prather has been sitting out. You know what I'm saying? Like now, when Ezra and Jabbar Perry are locked in, like. It makes them a very hard team to beat because of the versatility from that position. And, you know, I wouldn't be Zimmons if I ain't tell you I don't want, but my money on. Okay, Zylas, Zimmery Jr. And just do what he do. Okay, free throws, chase down, block, the kids are with. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, like the Who State Championship, very, very, very high level, a lot of fireworks. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I, I do want to say this in terms of, of Silas Denver Jr. And I said it on Twitter the other day. I mean, when it comes to a championship game on the line in the state, there's not there's not a kid I want on my team rather than Yeah, I, I think I said I said uh, death taxes and Silas Denver Jr. making monumental right. plays in huge games. <laughs> like, no, no, like <laughs> nobody in the state wins like that kid. The same way we just broke Liberty Heights down, Moravian has those same causes and stories for winning. Yep. Combine has that same situation. Liberty Heights Varsity has the same want to to prove. What the guy has the same, so that's what I'm saying, like, Winston-Salem, like, yo, every single team has a case where it's just like, I don't think it's no let now. I think it's literally Royal Rumble. It is time to reveal our championship predictions. Man, gotten up to this point. Rod, who you got? Um, <laughs> so... There's a lot of parity in the hoop state. I just want to start with that. There's yep. a, lot, a lot of parity. A lot of teams that are really good. At the end of the day, you know, I don't, I don't want to take your thunder, but I think we're in agreement. I, I'm going to go with Liberty Heights National. And the reason I go is that just because at the end of the day, like, you know, they have Silas Emory Jr., man. I just, 
you know, it's, it's kind of like, the, you know, when people say, don't, don't bet against Brady, I can't bet against Silas. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to Liberty Heights National. Simmons? Liberty Heights National. <laughs> I got Moravian prep. I think uh, I think the bad taste in their mouth is going to kind of propel them over the next few weeks of practice. I kind of I know the way they work, and I feel like that motivation of losing such a tight game is going to propel not only the players but but Jeremy over the edge from a game plan standpoint. And I think you know he's going to really dive in and and get them in a situation to where they can win this thing. But we've said it already. There's five to six teams with a real shot here, Absolutely. and and. We all three of us might end up being wrong. Be yeah, I mean, honest. literally, I can <laughs> make a plan for. I, I can literally say why heights, heights, varsity, combine, Ray, like, I word a guy like oh. all of them. It's, it's 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 crazy, man. So somebody gotta be right, somebody gotta be wrong. But we appreciate you. Also, we need your stream dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So stream information will be made available. Also, if you want to come join us, um, we know South Carolina hasn't had COVID restrictions for since like 2019. So you're welcome to come back. <laughs> it was, it's never been COVID up here. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. We will be there. Come hang out in Rock Hill for the weekend. I know uh, there's an AAU event going on on the other eight courts and post-grad stuff as well that we're excited to see. Let's so back. There will, be, there will be a lot of basketball going on in the gym at Rock Hill all weekend. Come join us and uh, we can't wait to see you there. Streaming information, like I said, will be available. Any final thoughts before we wrap up, boys? Shout out to Ricky Lou in the Lewis Bowl. Yeah, no, looking forward to a great weekend of basketball. Um, it's, it's been a basketball season going by quick, man. I'm just looking forward to, you know, seeing who, who's breaking the trophy here. Yeah, now we get in, now we break into grassroots season, which is just a whole oh, smoke with me. It's just a whole nother dog show. We can't wait to bring it to you. We'll see y'all soon. For the love, we in this swing, gotta make cash from it. Get the rock to Simmons, guaranteed he make that bucket. Money in the bank, kick it to rate. It shot like Allen, wanna see the footage. Donnie and Max, they got the cameras and ride automatic. Can't let this guy shoot. But they can dump it down to pasta for them inside scoops And web holds it all together, won't find a glue trace Keep your shoes laced if you pull up on the hoop state